in a nutshell, Providence petrels existed on both Norfolk Island and Lord Howe Island off the east coast of Australia. Early settlers on Norfolk Island were stranded and to ensure that they didn't starve, they ate pretty much the entire population. That, in, with, including with the introduction of pigs, saw their complete demise from Norfolk Island by 1800. So now the population uh, pretty much only exists on Lord Howe Island. My project is currently looking at ways to introduce the Providence petrel from Lord Howe Island back to Norfolk Island where they also existed. So to do this you can't simply just pick up a seabird and, and move them over to another island because these birds are highly philopatric and this means that they return to where they were born year after year to breed. So this means we need to translocate or move chicks that are young enough before they've actually imprinted on their natal site so that they return to their new site to breed. Introducing or moving such young chicks also has some problems because they may not survive the translocation process. So it was my job to go over to Lord Howe Island and find this real optimal period for translocating the birds. And this involved measuring wing length and chick weight and looking at their plumage growth to determine that optimal time for translocation. Thanks to this work, we'll be able to hopefully in the future reintroduce province petrels back to Norfolk Island, therefore restoring the island back to its original state and also providing a second viable breeding population for the species.